With each passing day, new discoveries and developments push forward and revolutionize our understanding of the modern world. And with each new finding, we are able to uncover new avenues to explore and research. From strange animal behavioral patterns to ancient monoliths to conjoined whales, the human understanding of Earth is always evolving and adjusting. No new discovery is isolated, and each may present new cultural, sociological, biological or even psychological implications as we delve into the past and present of humans and animals alike. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three interesting discoveries that are advancing our understanding of the world. World's first documented case of Siamese grey whales found in Mexico. In 2014, a pair of grey whales were found, conjoined, and unfortunately deceased, washed up on the shore in Mexico. Whilst a devastating discovery, it was the first time conjoined grey whales had been spotted. It was in Mexico's Laguna Ojo de Libre, otherwise known as Scammon's Lagoon, that the infant whales, or calves, were found by scientists. It is believed that the calves were miscarried. Other whale species, fin, say, and minke, are known to have had conjoined calves previously, though this is the first published documentation of grey whales sharing this experience, even if not past their birth. The average newborn grey whale would be expected to reach between 12 to 16 feet in length upon birth, whereas the conjoined grey whales in question measured a tiny 7 feet in comparison. Researcher Elisa Schulman Janiger from the American Cetacean Society identified several areas in which the whale twins were incredibly underdeveloped and called into question the health of the mother. The carcass of the conjoined grey whale twins was taken for research purposes in order to gain a greater understanding of both the species and the condition of their birth. In light of this tragedy, it is hoped that the research gathered and the body of the whales will help a development in science, possibly helping future grey whales and aiding the continued advancement in our understanding. Sea Creatures' Strange Circular Swimming Has Scientists Puzzled On March 18, 2021, a team of researchers published an article within the journal iScience detailing a bizarre event and the strange behavior observed within multiple animals living in the sea. Whilst this new research is yet to reach a definitive conclusion, unraveling the mystery truly is exciting. Amongst this circling group are green sea turtles, tiger sharks, penguins, and Antarctic fur seals. They have been swimming in the same circular motions at a constant, consistent speed, but we are yet to find out why. Some have suggested that this could center around the navigation features that these animals have in common, namely magnetism. It was Tomoko Narazaki, a researcher from the University of Tokyo's Atmosphere and Ocean Research Institute, who first observed and recorded this unusual behavior in a group of green sea turtles. As part of her research, she had moved them away from their breeding ground in order to establish the patterns and trends in their navigation systems as they made their way home. Even though both Narazaki and the turtles knew where the group were heading to, the turtles that had been kitted out with GPS trackers found that they frequently paused their journey simply to swim in circles. This odd action was not only seemingly random, but actively hindered the progress on their journey. Narazaki said she had double-checked the data, ensuring she had read and interpreted it correctly, as she described the circling motion as being just like a machine. The data collected suggested that the circling increased as the animals approached coastal waters, close by to where they nest. One turtle we may expect to be particularly dizzy completed 76 circles back to back, with each lap of the circle taking between 16 and 20 seconds to complete. Knowing how out of the ordinary this behavior is, Narazaki reported the event to several other researchers, plenty of whom reported seeing other sea creatures perform similar behaviors when monitored using the same 3D tracking tags that Narazaki had used. Despite the pattern closely resembling one another, at this time there is no reason to believe that each of these animals' new circling habits are linked, due to the broad discrepancy in when these behaviors were demonstrated. 
Many circled close to their feeding grounds, such as four tiger sharks completing 272 circles near Hawaii, whereas others have circled before courting a mate. Some suggested this circling was related to searching for food, though Antarctic fur seals completed their loops largely in the daytime, despite the majority of their eating being a nighttime event. Another difference is, as mentioned earlier, green sea turtles seemingly stopped to spin midway through their travels. Whilst there is much that remains unexplained surrounding the other animals, some significant advancements have been made regarding the green sea turtles, with Narazaki explaining that this repetitive looping was usually in a navigationally important location, giving the example of them turning just before the final approach to their goal. Furthermore, it is already established that green sea turtles rely on the magnetic field as a navigation tool, so perhaps by spinning in circles, they are able to assess the field from numerous directions, giving them a more informed perspective. This theory also accounts for the repetition of the action, suggesting that the same loop over and over allows for more measurements to be taken, strengthening the turtles' understanding of their whereabouts. We are yet to confirm these theories or find a general idea that can be applied to all of the spinning creatures, but this strange event has opened some new doors to some new, albeit strange, research opportunities. The Pantelleria vecchia bank monolith Whilst completing an entirely distinct investigation, a team of researchers stumbled across a monolith, a stone monument that reached a staggering 39 feet in height, an ancient artifact on the seafloor of the Mediterranean. Researchers were initially undertaking a high-resolution mapping of the seafloor, spanning the area surrounding Sicily, the Italian island in the Mediterranean Sea, when they came across this monolith. However, their research took a minor detour as divers went with recording equipment and cameras to conduct a closer observation. Sending divers down allowed a more accurate perception as to the location of this ancient monument, with divers journeying 131 feet underwater, finding the monolith in the Pantelleria Vecchia bank. The lead researcher of the project, Emmanuel Ladolo, who works with the National Institute of Oceanography and Experimental Geophysics in Italy, expressed the promising aspects of this research, stating we were very excited about this discovery. Some elements in the design of the monolith are indicative of man-made production, due to its regular, relatively uniform shape and three holes within it all with similar diameters. Far too neat, purposeful and intentional for a natural occurrence, leading many to conclude it has been man-made. Some have suggested the creators lived within the Mesolithic period approximately 10,000 years ago. The study produced by the research team expresses these sentiments, stating there are no reasonable known natural processes that may produce these elements, in reference to the consistency in the shape and size of the holes, alongside the structured regular shape. Another interesting feature of the monolith is one complete hole, with a diameter of 24 inches, that has penetrated the stone entirely. Current speculation is that it once held a torch of some description, meaning the monolith once served as a lighthouse, separating the sea and civilization. Again, these suggestions are all evaluated within the research, and whilst these ideas continue to be the current research hypothesis, this is largely speculation and theories at this stage in the research process. We are yet to find definitive answers. Perhaps the most significant factor in confirming the man-made, manufactured nature of this ancient monument is that it does not match or correspond with the rocks surrounding it on the bottom of the ocean, dated to be approximately 10 million years old. Instead, the composition of the monolith more closely reflects those of rocks in the ridge of a more shallow marine area. Lodolo said that this is one of the most important details in supporting the idea that the monolith is not made by nature or phenomena, but is man-made. So far, researchers have been able to date the stone to the late Pleistocene era, approximately 40,000 years ago. This process involved the removal of shell fragments from within the rock in order to conduct radiocarbon dating tests upon it. However, this only reflects the age of the stone used to form the monolith and not the creation of the structure itself, which we are unable to put a precise year to, as of yet. According to the team of researchers, however, estimations may be able to be made based upon the variations in the sea levels, 
with sea levels having risen 410 feet between the estimated formation and the 21st century's present day. Other research opportunities have been presented from this discovery, reigniting many discussions surrounding the capability of ancient people to use technology that was thought to be rather advanced for their time period. Could hunter-gatherer societies form monoliths? So far, it is unclear. We know that advanced techniques could be necessary, including cutting, extraction, transportation, and installation. As we are able to gradually unravel more and more about this monolith, we bring with it a greater understanding of ancient societies, their practices, and achievements, making this discovery more significant than a simple stone monolith. But what do you make of these three interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community by working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.